What's up everybody? This is what we shot today. Good amount of fish. Parrot fish, rabbit fish, and we got this fish I want to show you. I want to put this in a folder, but I want to show you this fish first. Uh, where is it? It's right here. This is actually a type of a grouper. Very delicious. We're going to take it home, cook it up, and we're going to have a delicious meal today. Okay everybody, we made it. And this is the, fi the fish that we're going to eat. This is a type of a grouper. We gave the rest of the fish to the boys because there's a lot of them. There's only two of us over here. This is a rabbit fish. And this is a type of a grouper. I'll find out what it's actually exactly called. I know what it's called in Arabic, but I don't know what it's called in English. We're going to remove the scales. This, the, the rabbit fish doesn't have any scales, so it's going to be easy. We're just going to remove the guts. This For this fish, we're going to have to scale it. And then I'll show you where, what we're going to do with it. So before we start cleaning the fish and everything, I'm going to turn this fire on. I have here, I'm going to throw some butter in there. Before we start cleaning anything, just so we can have everything ready. Throw this butter in here. And I've got over here, I've got some, uh, I've got some tomatoes, onions, and garlic. We're gonna throw the garlic in there. Uh, onions and garlic, and just let it saute a little bit. I'm gonna turn the fire a little bit down. And then I'm gonna let it sit over here. Just, you know, get a little bit soft. And by the time we finish cleaning the fish, it'll be ready. And we're gonna add the tomatoes in a second. Now let's start scaling the fish. Have this nice scaler over here. Move all the scales. I'm gonna try to do it under running water because the scales will just go everywhere. I'm gonna cook this fish whole. This fish is so good, I don't wanna waste anything of it. I'm going to make fish soup, tomato fish soup, one of my favorite dishes of all time. It's really, really good. And when you have a good fish like this one, you really want to do it that way. So, because, you know, all the meat and the good stuff is in the head and you can't really fillet that part. You're just going to have to cook it whole. Just remove as much scales as you can because you don't want to eat scale soup. Just like this. We'll do the other side. And also the belly meat. Something you can't really eat if you if you fillet the fish. But once you cook it whole, 
actually, it's delicious. It's the best part of the fish. It's very fatty, very delicious. See? All the scales are gone. I'm gonna go over it with a knife very quickly. And for this fish, I'm just gonna gut it, remove all the guts, and we will be ready to throw it in the pot. Okay, now I, I've used a scaler. I've removed as much scales as I want. I'm just gonna go over it with a knife just to make sure I have removed all the scales. Because the scales, if you're making, see, this is the best, this is my favorite piece of meat right here, the cheeks, just delicious. Just make sure no scales, because the scales in the, in the soup is not gonna taste good. Just remove all the scales. And go right here, make sure you removed all the scales. And just, you know, clean up the, the skin a little, because the skin is gonna be the best part of this fish. Really, really good. See how the color difference? So go over with the head right here. And I'll go over the places that see, see all the scales that came out? You can't reach this part with this scaler. When you do it with a knife, it's much much easier. And now I'm gonna remove the guts. There you go. And anal fin right here. Just gonna make a long cut. There we go. Cut through these bones. And then just remove all the guts. Now I think my onions are ready. I can smell it. Now I'm gonna add the tomatoes. Come over here. Oh my god, it's more than ready. Tomatoes in. And just let it sit. It's hot. Let's go back to the fish right here. We don't want any guts in there. I'm gonna also remove, um, oh, look at this, it's kinda, it's uh, orange in the inside, that's weird. I'm gonna also remove oh, everything. Yeah, I'm gonna remove everything. This, I just want meat and bones in there. See, now I'm gonna rinse it out. I don't want any blood into the, in the soup. Remove everything. And now, I'm gonna cut it in half. You don't have to, oh, so just make sure no scales on it. I don't know, I don't want any scales on it. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it in half so it can fit my pot. You don't have to do this part, you can just put the whole fish in there, but I'm gonna cut it in half. Just like this. And then, see, just cut the backbone, just break it, and this is the fish, it's ready to go. And for the parrotfish, just, you know, 
it doesn't have any scales. Maybe it does have little scales, but I don't think so. Maybe like really, really tiny ones. But uh, I'm just gonna go over it like this. Just to, you know, get any mud or anything from the reef. Just to get, you know, cleaner taste. That's all. Doesn't really have to be done, but, you know, I like Because we're making soup. And you don't want any, you know, fishy flavor in there. This is fresh fish. And the, the meat itself is not going to taste fishy whatsoever. Um, the fishy flavor comes from this stuff. Scales and, uh, and the dirt from the ocean. Some people actually like that. They call it earthy. I, if you hear somebody saying earthy, tastes earthy, that means it tastes nasty. But they don't want to say it. I don't want my stuff tasting earthy. And just, you know, cut. Remove all the guts. And just get everything out of there. We don't want any guts. Everything. Fish is ready. I'm just gonna put some spices and salt on the pot. I'm sweating. This is not water. This is sweat because it's hot in Saudi Arabia. Okay. I've got some sea, sea salt over here. That's about enough. And then I'm gonna also add some spices. Not too much. Just a little bit. Ah, uh, that's fine. Little mix. Now we actually need a little bit more water. Turn it up. Just add a little bit more water. So the fish is swimming in the water. And then we're gonna add my hot pepper. And now. Now it's time to add the fish. You can remove this good fish here first. Put my fish in here. Uh, we've got plenty of fish for two people. Cover it up. Maybe, maybe I'll add a little bit more water. Let's see. Yeah, well, that's about enough. And now just let it sit there for 20 minutes and we'll be ready to eat. Okay guys, I'm just warming up the, finish warming up the bread. And check this out. Oh my god. We are more than ready. Gonna turn it off. Oh god, this so we can't find something to carry this one, so I'm just using this old towel right here. And we also can't find something to put it in, so we found this uh, frying pan. I'm gonna add all this fish in here. Yeah. We washed it really well. Oh my god. Oh man, look at that. We just warmed up this pita bread. Wow, look at this meat. Oh my god, that looks really good. Looks just like butter. And it's really, really hot. I'm just gonna dip this into this fish soup right here. Oh my god. It's indescribable, guys. It's really, really good. Mmm. Really, really good. No kidding. Honestly, this is so good. I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna eat. And this is all I got for you guys. I'm not gonna let this cool down because I'm gonna eat it right now. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time.